Are you always comparing yourself to other photographers and even worse, other photography businesses? Watch this video, it's just for you. Since we're talking about comparing and being unique, today I'm gonna to share with you some fun Roswell, New Mexico images as I chat with you today. If you're a landscape, nature, and macro photographer who wants to build a profitable photography business, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video just for you every week. Once I realized that it was actually me selling my photographs, not my photograph selling to people, I went from selling a photograph for hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. You see, in the beginning, I was always comparing myself to other photographers. I was looking at their website saying, wow, that photographer is way too good and I'll never be that good. Or as I got even better in my skills of photographing, I would look at other photographers and, and look at their website and say, why are they making all that money? I, my work is so much better. What the heck am I doing wrong? I seriously just wanted to pull my hair out. And I realized, I realized it was because I was comparing so much. I was comparing to the photographer that was way above my skills or way below my skills. And I just kept comparing and it doesn't work out that way. So let me give you an example. I love to photograph poppies and so do millions of other people. There's thousands and thousands of people that love outdoor photography. Now, if I compared myself to all the others, I never would have gone into Outdoor Photography Magazine and actually submitted images of my poppy photography. And it hit the editors. And because it hit the editors, bam, got the cover. Because I was not worried about everyone else. You see, we're all unique. And that's our biggest strength. So in order to connect with the people that you want to connect to, you have to truly be yourself. So once I realized that, I started making my work and actually connecting to people. What you truly need to do is sit down and write out what do you truly like in life? What are your values? What do you want to push out to the world and make a statement and not worry if people are not going to like it because not everybody's going to like it and it's okay. I don't care if you don't like this video. If you don't like this, you're probably already gone anyways. But if you're here with me, you know that it's true to be within your soul. I'm telling you the truth. This is how I got known. I didn't hang out with a bunch of photographers. What I did was I said, what do I want? What is my mission in life? I know I like to photograph, but it's beyond just making the photograph. It's about connecting. So I stopped comparing, stopped hanging out with photographers. I only hung out with the people that I truly wanted to connect with. And they were not photographers. You got to really truly want to connect in a business and serve others and you can't just expect them to come to you so with that said think about what do you want to do you can go out and look and see what other people are offering you're gonna say this is what they're offering I would rather do this better this will serve my tribe better this will serve my client better I can do this and the way you do it is not comparing it's just a little bit of research and if you start to compare and say oh i'm not good enough or they're way better than me then stop right then and there come back to this video and understand you have to be true to yourself i'd like to know would you be willing to say what did you compare yourself to was it your photography the website the genre whatever it is i'm curious because I may just make a video just for you. If you truly want a photography business, you do need to invest in yourself. I, I mean, you're a photographer just like me and I love gadgets. I'm sure you've paid a lot of money for your camera, lens, tripod, whatever else that you have. What I'm gonna suggest that you do is write a list of why are you comparing yourself in the first place? Is it because you feel that you don't have this certain skill? Again, you don't want to photograph like everyone else. So be careful with that comparison. What you may want to do is hone in on macro photography. Well, that's a beast on its own. So maybe it's time for you to take a workshop. 
maybe it's time for you to watch some YouTube videos. I have some down below that tell us all about macro photography. But if you're already set on that, then make a portfolio. I talk about that in my channel also. The links will be down below if you need this help. So think about what you may need. Is it business that you need? Do you need a coach or a mentor to help you get that mindset? You may need that. Think about that. If you want a true business, you can do it because you want to be unique. Now, if you would like a coach that could pull out your creativity and focus on your business and not compare yourself to everybody, then check out the link down below and set up a call with me. I only talk to people that are very serious. So if you're just dabbling on a photography business, don't worry about even going there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with other photographers because you want to know why? We're different. We're all unique. You're not competing with other photographers. I've done it and you can do it too.